and Mo Newman. I'm down here in Venice, Louisiana, where I co-own and operate Journey South Outfitters alongside my wonderful, lucky husband, Eric Newman. I think a few of y'all might know who he is. Cool little chef about this big ball. Anyhow, I'm gonna give y'all a walk through the mojo. She's a bad machine. This is my 39 CVZ with the lovely gray scaled coastal wave and the blue seas to give it just a little pop, you know? But anyhow, I'm gonna tell, tell y'all the story behind Mojo. Yeah, my name's Mo. No, I don't know Joe, but this is how we spell it. M-O-J-E-A-U-X. Now down here in the South, E-A-U-X is pronounced O. So for some y'all, it's not Moju, it's not Mojoa, it's Mojo. Real simple. Well, I think it is. So, you know, Mojo, it doesn't come from some little duck that flaps its wings in a pond to call in ducks. Mojo is the beast that's inside you. It's what you need to release to finish it, to go that extra mile, to go that extra five more feet, you know, to do whatever it is that you're after. And... You know, every one of y'all have a little bit of mojo because I know a lot of y'all see what's out there. So let's go take a walk around to the back. Yep. Damn. Yeah. That's what I say. Wow. I never imagined that first the most badass machine in my opinion would have quad Mercury Verado 400. No, like I remember when my dad got his Parker and it had two motors. Dude, we were the cat's ass. Like, you know, big people walking around, we got two motors, you pull up into the dock. I know some of y'all kids from the 90s realize how big of a deal two motors were. But to have quads and this horsepower, it still blows my mind. It kind of gives me the chills to think about it that the boat of this caliber and this horsepower I'm lucky to run and own and it just you know my dad I think he's proud of me but it just doesn't help when my two little nephews Mitchell and Maddox tell him hey pappy Ammo's boat got four motors it's faster than yours and you only got two for a while he didn't take that well but I think he's kind of got over it and he's letting it sink in and dad you're always my hero all right, so we're gonna go take a walk in the inside of this thing. First enter the clubhouse. You gotta pet the dog. And then you gotta say the secret password and secret handshake. But anyhow, it's gonna be like an episode of Cribs. Come on into my crib, I'll meet y'all at the bow. box. 
boxes. I have rod locker storages. Actually, the only one I use for its purpose is this side. I have my gaffs, my harpoon, my tag sticks, and all my harnesses in there. And this side serves as storage because I like to bring the tackle room fishing with me. And in this boat, I have a lot of room for storage. And actually, Plano makes some cool bins that keeps all my tackle safe and rust free. So, all right, working our way back. Next up is the console. That's where you go when you get out of hand when you're fishing with me. No, not really. I actually carry a big net in there, any backup drinks, food, my water, uh, all the supplies I need if anything, God forbid, would happen to my motors, uh, my first aid kit, all my tagging supplies is down there. And then you see two doors which are actually access hatches to the back of my electronics and any other wiring that I would need to get to on this boat. Everything's nice, labeled, really simple for me to get to. And needless to say, I really don't venture much in there. All right, here we are. Best seat in the house, hands down. At least by my opinion, or anyone who else runs an upper station on their boat. Man, every man's dream, freaking hearing some woman up ahead chirping at you all day long. Yes, I know I have a nagging voice and it probably drives you nuts down below hearing me scream, but it is what it is. I apologize. I'm sorry. But anyhow, during the day, you'll find me up here anytime that I have good visibility. In Venice, you know, we got brown water, we got dirty green water, clean green water, to your cobalt blue water. We are not always blessed with clean water. But when we are, I'm up here, and I don't have to explain to y'all the advantages of an upper station. A lot of y'all know, but one thing in Venice, no one runs an upper station down here. And to be honest with you, sometimes this makes or breaks my day. So if you're in the market, get an upper station. You'll love it, trust me. But as you can see, I run Ray Marine Electronics. I have the open array radar along with the clear thermal imaging. So let's get down. I'm gonna show you the rest of this beast. Come on. All right, now we're getting into the juicy stuff for the mojo. My rod reel setup. But first, I run a Key West style key top, which clips in, allows me to have all my rods so I lose no rod storage and all my rods stay nice and close nice and tucked in on my console so i'm never dealing with rods they go where they're supposed to go and that's it first i got three bottom setups uh toriums with travala rods and then i got six calicas on Therese rods for any live bait and then trolling and then behind that along the rod holders i do have a 56 gallon freshwater tank for the people who like to cool off during the day i gotcha all right and then on my port stop side is all my spin gear. I like to keep conventional there. Spin here. First, I run three Saragosas with the G Loomis Pro Blues for light when we're live baiting, casting around the rig. Then I got my badass setup, my Stellas on ocean pluggers, grapplers, and game type days to do all your casting and jigging needs. We do it all. I got gotcha. you. Quick pit stop for a second. That's a tongue twister. I dare you to say it five times fast. Anyhow, I run the Gym Lux. Their blue water outrigger bases along with their 22 foot internal poles, pretty solid. And I just added their sea sucker cam cleat along with their double gym lock. So I got a new addition when I do get out to go fishing to try and I'm looking forward to it. Just when can we go fishing again? All right, here we are, the driver's seat. This is where I run the boat. You know, no cute little term for it. I run two Axiom Pros down here. They're 16 inch. And I also have something cool that I put on there. See? Mojo. Yep. Moi. My name. But you know what that means? I take on all the responsibility of this boat. Leave Eric with nothing. He's kind of got the better end of the deal because he just gets to step on it. It's my responsibility to have it ready to rock and roll. But you know, I think it's pretty cool. I can put my name up there. So a lot of y'all, maybe a uh, Carter, you can put your name on your boat because I know I put it on your boat and it took you two months to figure it out. Come on guys, pay attention. It's the little things that count and the little touches. But anyhow, let's start from left to right. What I have on my dashboard. I run the JL Audio Media Master. 
my Optimus steering, my keypad for my electronics, then I have all my gauges for my motors, and I got my autopilot, which, if you're lazy, it's a cool factor. No, I'm just kidding. I just like to run my boat, so I don't use it much. <laughs> and I got my start and stop switches, and then my throttles. So, as you can see, this is a nice space, which means if I can smell your breath, you're too close. Go sit over there. This is a big boat. I know a lot of you people like to stand by the captain, but give us some space. And listen, on this boat, you're only allowed 500 questions. And uh, that's it. And yes, I know your first few questions are, how far are we going? How deep is it? How fast is it? How much fuel you carry? With the response of, we're going to Mexico! No, we're not going to Mexico. We're staying in the Gulf of Mexico, going to the rigs. Yes, I might have a... 300 mile round trip day but we're not going to mexico but anyhow uh cv we have a nice large console here for me and my guests to enjoy just stay out of my bubble love you and underneath the seat we have another storage area which is pretty cool because it allows me to keep some of my go-to stuff that i need back here i have a nice tackle storage tray with everything from needles to floss to pliers to different weights, to some energy, some wipes for those bad days, squeegee, because you know the boat gotta stay clean. And this this you know makes it pretty nice to have to so everybody put their junk in at the end of the day. You know how that works. And to finish off my tackle stuff, I actually carry five bent butts on board. I carry three Tiagra 30s on Talus rods for chunking and then two Talica 50s on talus rods for um, live baiting for Mr. Blue, which is pretty fun when that hooks up. And as you can see, I have my archery target in the back because I like the boat hunt as well. Now on this side, we have a nice tuna door, which is great about this because it allows me to slide big fish right in since the floor of the boat's at water level and slide you right out when you act up on me. So be careful, don't act up on me. Now on my other side, I have my two gaffs. These are my two primary go-to gaffs, which are nice, tucked away, locked away, so nobody gets hurt, but they're easy to access when I need them. And then I have a nice tape measure for all my catch and release fish. All right, now on the back of my leaning post, I have a nice workstation, which this piece drops down, folds up clean. Uh, I have two doors, one serves for all my plane open, which I carry two hooks and a terminal tuck. The other door has two drawers. Top drawer carries my sabikis and rubber bands. Bottom drawer carries all my leaders and has, nine, has let's see, five individual slots so you keep everything separated. Drum roll, please, as we move, walk back to the next coolest feature on the Mojo. It's a drink clock. It's only cool because it slides out and slides in, which if you want to sit here, you can. If you don't want it, you just push back in and your cockpit is that much bigger. And as you can see, below that, I have a logo. Logo. You got that? I guess it's a slogan. Anyhow, it's called Kick Plastic. It is a joint venture that Yeti and Costa do. And what it means is to minimize the use of single-use plastic. So, all in all, no plastic on my boat. And we're welcoming a chopper, which is going to mess up the rest of my team. So, please pause for a 30 second So, here at Journey South Outfitters, we have limit, eliminated the use of single use plastic. So, no more red solo cups. I fill you up. Gone. What our guests have at the lodge uh, while they're in the outdoor kitchen enjoying a nice cocktail is, you know, their choice of Yeti cup to drink and keep their drink cold and in the boat. Each client has a Rambler water bottle, all colored, coordinated, because I know red, blue, green, purple, sometimes might be hard for you to remember, but guess what? It's easier for me to remember whose water bottle's whose because it's color coordinated, which is kind of cool. I also carry a three gallon water jug on boat for all my backup water needs. Now to get to the floor. Right here under this hatch, for me, is another 140 gallon live well, which also can be a fish box, but I just have it plumbed as a live well. 
and the thing's so big, bait gets lost. More. Behind this is my bilge. I run a six pump Beth Marine sea chest. Then down here I have my pump that drains out uh, my live well right here. And then in the back I have my sub pump which drains both of my front fish boxes. Easy to get to whenever I need to. On each side of my bilge I have two more storage hatches. One is empty for garbage and one keeps my cast nets and weights. And they also is where it, it also is where I access my fuel tank valves, which I have 440 gallon fuel tanks on board. And the valves allow me to allocate what motor I want to run off of what tank. We're almost done. We're back here to the transom. I actually have two sets of tuna tubes on each side of my main live well, right here. And another custom thing you do is have mojo etched in your live well. So for all you other ladies out there, if you got a boat, get your name in the live well in. It's pretty cool. And then behind this, where my girls hang. Literally. It's the transom. That's the beef. That's the freaking muscle. That's the strength of this whole thing. That's what pushes me. And that's what keeps me going and make sure that I have a solid and safe ride in is that back there so that's about it I just gave you the rundown of my 39 CVZ called the mojo and I hope you enjoyed it and other than that guys stay safe keep social distancing six feet apart I think that's how wide my arms are well I'm actually five foot six so I'm a little short um Stay safe, stay healthy. Everybody, hope y'all get on the water soon. Tight lines. Again, I'm Mo Newman down here in Venice, Louisiana with Journey South Outfitters, and I'm out.